Welcome to the new This Week video for May 10th. We got a great week this week, a lot of exciting books. Um, I can't wait to get started. We've got the hardest working man in comics, Mark Miller, Ambassadors number four. Someone who should have retired from comics, Frank Miller presents Ancient Enemies, Wrath, Wraith in the Sun, or I don't think he does this, but it's, it's still got his name on it. We're good. Scout Comics, Banshees number two. Kelly Thompson's Black Cloak, number five. Going to be a favorite of mine this week. Um, I obviously, I've got more coming in. I'm going to, I'm, I know I'm going to run out of this book, but Cartoon Puppet Horror Theater, issue number one. I'm bringing this home. To, I'm definitely bringing this home to read it. I mean, who doesn't like Cartoon Puppet Horror? I know I do. Hell, I watched the Banana Splits, the, the horror film of Banana Splits. Then we've got Scott Snyder's and uh, Francis Manipal's uh, Clear. Issue number three. And it is a favorite. It's going to be a book. This is a book for Sensei Mark. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago. We have Count Dante, number one. This here is the unauthorized but sort of true story of the deadliest man who ever lived. Now, people who've read old old comic books, if you, if you used to read the ads, there used to be an ad for Count Dante, the most dangerous man in the world, his dojo. I think it was out of Chicago or something. Um, he advertised in all the comic books. This guy was a little, little off his rocker, I think. Well, we've got a, we've got a Count Dante comic book now. Sensei Mark, this is for you. Frank Fazetta's Death Dealer, number 12. I can't believe this has made it up to 12. I mean, they put out Frank Fazetta's books before, and they go for a little while, then they just disappear again. Um, pretty good. They're selling pretty decent, so that's good. Mad Cave Studios, Don't Spit in the Wind, number 2. And that's a you know that's very good advice too. There's a lot of other things you shouldn't do into the wind, also. Here is the second hardest working man. I'm not even you know we can we can say one or two because Cullen Bunn is got two or three books every week too. Uh, here's his new Boom Studios number one Ghost Lore. Think it's gonna be pretty good. It looks it looks okay. Um. Probably another, I mean, I figured with the word ghost, ghost lore, horror book. Um, I don't know. It says Cullen Bunn. I'm going to try it. For all you cooking show fans, the great British bump off. Don't see a number on it. I think it's number two. Yep, issue two on the back. Finally, this book, I don't know what happened to Jeff Johns here, but... Uh, this book is extremely late, but we got Junkyard Joe number six to uh, finish off this mini series, and we got issue number one of Keepers of the Cosmos from Scout Comics. Personal favorite of mine that I'll be reading to this week also is King Kong: The Great War number one. What do we even have to say about this? Kong, giant gorilla. That's all. That's all we need. Mad Cave Studios, a legacy of violence, number five. I think that's name says Bun down here too. Liquid Kill, number four. Lord of the Jungle, number five. Always have fantastic covers for this book, but in the end, it's still Tarzan. Mad Balls versus the Garbage Pail Kids. Time again, slime again. Number four. Rodney Barnes has another book, Monarch, issue number four. I think this is the guy that writes uh, Philadelphia. Now, this is a book that I would normally have been excited to read. Murder, Inc., issue number one. By Brian Michael Bendis. Um, he did a couple series of Murder Inks, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight years ago. 
um, couldn't get it out on time. It was it was under it was under Marvel Icon or whatever. It was it was a great story, but Bendis has lost it. I, his name doesn't doesn't weigh anything anymore for me to even want to read his stuff. Uh, but this is new number one. If you are a fan of Murder Inc. and you still want to give this clown a chance, this is try it. But he's he's done with me. He belongs at Walmart. With Brian Michael Ben, uh, with yeah, Brian. Michael, that's what I'm talking about. Is Brian Michael Bendis. Maybe with me, because I'm just as I'm just as flaky as him, I guess. All right, we got the nasty number two. Mark Miller's Nemesis Reloaded number five, and then another book that's super late, but I expect it from it's by American Mythology Productions. Uh, Night of the Living Dead number three. I don't think this company has ever put out a book on time, or the first issue will come out on time, and then the rest is late. But it's Night of the Living Dead. You're a horror fan, Night of the Living Dead fan? That's for you. Noctera, number 14. Two books this week by Scott Snyder. Put them together, you may get a half of a good book. And we've got Old Dog, number 4. Jeff Lemire putting out some quality in this story, but we'll see how if how we can stick the ending because he has trouble. He has a lot of trouble with that. Uh, Phantom Road number three, and we got another scout book. Quicksand number one. There's something ominous behind her. She better not turn around. And we're not even going to talk about this crap, but we've got Saga, number 64. Samurai Doggy, number 6, from Aftershock. And we've got Walt Disney's Scar, number 2. Ahoy Comics has got a book coming out this week. Uh, they only do a couple of a couple of months. Second Coming Trinity, number two. Image has something epic coming out. Number one, something epic. This this must be the book of the year. It's right here in the title, something epic. Well, that don't look so epic. Kind of looks like it's got that computery type artwork. Yeah, good. Spawn number 341. Got a half a gorilla on the front cover. Star Trek Defiant number 3. And Emma Kubert, Stoneheart, number three. Move on to DC. A ton of exciting stuff here. Maybe. Batman Adventures Continue, season three, number five. Batman Incorporated, number eight. Excited yet? Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries, number eight. It's getting better. Batman The White Knight Presents, Generation Joker, number one. This is a great cover. Of this. this book is a great cover, but too bad it's a, it's a garbage book. But we've got Danger Street, number... Who knows? Three? Six, nine, six. Yeah, we got Danger Street number six. But that is a great cover. I need myself a little, some little Danger Danger Street snacks right there. A little cereal. Um, great cover. Dumb book. Tom King, give it up. You're done. A lot of people have been looking forward to this. It's an exciting week. We finally get a Green Lantern book. Not done by Grant Morrison or Tom King or whatever. We we got a Green Lantern. We got Green Lantern number one. We got a couple covers, a couple covers to show off this week. Too bad it wasn't Kyle Rayner, but 
At least it's at least it's Green Lantern. We've, it's been a long time since we've had a good Green Lantern book. Now I've got Multiversity. We got Harley Quinn screws up the DCU number three. Looney Tunes number two hundred and seventy two. Sandman Universe uh, presents Nightmare Country in a Glass House, number two. Huge number one coming out this week. Reserve your copy now because they're going to sell out. Or wait and you may get them in a 50 cent box in six months. We've got Spirit World, number one, from Alyssa Wong. I forgot what shitty book she puts out from Marvel. She writes something bad. I think she writes something bad for Marvel. Um, so this is probably the so they so they 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 said yeah yeah go write something for DC maybe it'll maybe it'll be worse and we'll make a little extra money off you on this end. Star Girl number six last issue. Very good very good book here. Superman Lost number three. And we'll finish off DC with Wildcats number seven. Not all that bad. And we got Marvel. Marvel this week. This is the this is the issue we're looking for. They're gonna tell us, or supposedly gonna tell us, it says on the cover, whatever happened to Mary Jane? You would expect maybe they'll give us an answer. But we got Amazing Spider-Man number twenty-five. Couple couple covers. One by Ramita Jr., which this one doesn't look all that bad like the noble garbage he usually puts out. But he did do a variant cover that is atrocious. And we got a Greg Land cover. Both very nice. This book, single-handedly Marvel's trying to get cancelled. Um, Captain Marvel, number 49. Revenge of the Brood, the finale. Yep, I think after, you know, 32 issues of The Brood, they said, hey, I think maybe we, we only have six readers now. Um, no one wants to read this book, and we got a movie coming out. Maybe you should put out a good story. Where's Phil Krajewski when you need him? Cosmic Ghost Rider, number three. Daredevil, number 11. And because the world clamored for this, we get Extreme Venomverse. Three thrilling tales from mighty, mightiest creators of Marvel. Right here. Another fantastic cover for Ghost Rider. Even if you don't read the book, you want to collect the covers, it's, it's well worth it. Ghost Rider number 14. We can go to I am I am Iron Man number three, and we get a double dose of this crap this week. We get Invincible Iron Man number six. Remember when Iron Man used to be good? What happened? And I don't know if anyone cares about this, but we've got uh, the Miracle Man number five. Rogue and Gambit number three. Silk, number one. She's always pretty popular. Spider-Gwen Shadow Clones, number three. Spider-Man 2099, Dark Genesis, number two. I think, they got a, I think they're putting this book out weekly. Issue one sold pretty well. Star Wars Darth Vader, number 34. Star Wars The High Republic, number nine. Wolverine, number 33. And some really bad news on the back cover here for a future book coming out. We have Black Panther, number one, coming out in uh, coming out in June. Do you think? I mean, they keep on putting it out, putting it out, putting it out. It doesn't sell, doesn't sell. You think maybe you'd stop putting it out for a little while because the world does not want to read it? Put them in the Avengers. You know, it's... Uh, have, 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 them, have them come to the Avengers. Being being a being a team book. I just don't. I don't know. I don't think anyone feels that 
he's got a story that can be an ongoing story that you want to read. Um, but hey, they're trying it. They're trying it again. In June, first issue will sell sell you know a bazillion copies, and then the rest will be six throughout the world. X Men Red's gonna finish it off, issue number eleven, because well, it's an X book, and that's that's where it usually ends. So that's where we have it. So we have this week. Um, it's Mother's Day at the end of, at the end of the week. Wish wish everyone wish wish all your moms a happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, mom. Um, you know they got the hardest job in the world. So take care of your mother this Sunday. Thanks. We'll see you next week.